lights, camera, action. You guys might recognize this computer from our first video of 2020. It was the gaming and streaming on a $600 all AMD system video. Well, it's developed a problem. It's found its way back to me. The owner of it says that it won't turn on. So let's find out what I can do to make sure that this thing is operational. My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your computer technician. Real quick, if you guys are new around here and you like computer tech videos, PC gaming related content, tutorials, stream tips and stream tutorial things, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for more content like that. Check out our other videos. And uh, also if you're into troubleshooting computers that have issues because, you know, computers will always have issues. This is a video you're going to want to check out. So make sure you keep watching. Let's throw this guy over on the uh, on the test bench and see what we can figure out from it. But before that, just a little bit of backstory. The owner of this computer contacted me a couple of days ago saying that it wouldn't turn on anymore. And obviously this is something I wanna take care of. It's not even a month and a half old since we posted that video at least. He's had it a lot longer than that though. But I definitely wanna take care of it. He's a friend of mine. And I wanna make sure that it's up and running. It's actually for his dad, so. Even then, like that's double whammy. I want to make sure that him and his dad can play games together because that's what they like to do. Just a quick refresher on the specs. It's a Ryzen 5 2600 with an RX 580 Sapphire Nitro Plus graphics card and 16 gigs of RAM. And a pretty solid system overall. And as you saw in the video with benchmarks and everything, gaming and streaming, it's definitely capable, but I want to make sure it works. So yeah, like I said, to the bench. So here we are in my test bench area, my PC testing spot. Let's, uh, let's power on the computer. I got it all plugged in. Computer's here, got my keyboard mouse monitor over here. And uh, so I was told it wasn't going to turn on this first time testing it out. Let's see what happens. Literally zero response from the power button. Nothing. Totally dead. All right, I wonder what this could be. I wonder if just the, um, the header maybe got messed up for the power button. That could always be a possibility. There's no lights on the motherboard, nothing. Looks like it's just getting nothing. Now this has an EVGA Supernova 650G plus power supply. Generally a pretty reliable power supply and pretty reliable brand, but uh, everything looks like it's plugged in correctly. I don't see anything wrong with the connections at least from this end header is good power connections are good power supply is in the correct position over there but i'm getting nothing it's as if the, that there's no power going to it at all even if sometimes bad power supplies will still light something up but that is just not the case at all here today so first thing i'm going to try is grabbing a spare power supply hooking that up and seeing if i can turn it on with a different power supply Okay, the tester power supply, another EVGA unit, 600 watt, non-modular now though, is plugged in, ready to go. Let's see what happens. Immediate signs of life. Let's turn it on. Boom. So yeah, power supply went bad. Guess we gotta swap that out. I could, uh, it already booted. Looks like we're good to go. Let's swap the power supply and call this finished. Okay, we're back at the testing station. Power supply has been swapped out. Let's flip it on and make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. That lights up, powering it on. Uh, it doesn't have any 2.5 inch drives or anything like that, so swapping out the power supply was actually extra easy. Just need to plug in the graphics card, the motherboard power, and the CPU 
power and uh, it has an NVMe drive on it, 512 gigabyte. Super easy to swap this stuff out, although I guess it was a little problematic during the process, but here we go, booting up, and uh, looks like we're back in business. Booyah! And so there we have it. Power supply was all that was wrong with this computer. Just wanted to let you guys know that no matter how good you think your power supply might be, any of them are susceptible to failure under the right conditions. And knowing how to figure that out is pretty important. But basically, if you plug it in, you push the power button, nothing happens, nothing lights up, good chance the culprit is the power supply. The question is, did it take anything else with it when it failed? Nowadays, most power supplies have built-in protections to keep other components from failing when the power supply fails. So you're generally pretty safe when it comes to that as long as you have a decent power supply. I guess some super cheap ones probably don't have those sort of protections, but if you're getting, getting anything from a reputable brand, you're probably going to be okay. So don't be too scared if your power supply fails, but make sure you have a good surge protector or even better, a UPS, like a backup power supply, battery powered dealio thing that you plug the computer into so that if power surges or power outages happen, that that is what takes the brunt of the uh, the issues that come up, not the power supply in the computer. It'll save you time, it'll save you some hassle. It's generally a good idea to have. Fortunately, all that was needed for this one was swapping the power supply. So it's back up and running. Time to call my friend, let him know what's going on, let him know that it's ready. It's actually a pretty fast fix, all things considered. And I guess that'll do it for today. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button, subscribe. We always have more coming. We'll see you every Friday with a new video. And every Friday night at 8 p.m. Pacific, we stream to twitch.tv slash coalition gamer crew. So if you want to talk tech and play some games, uh, stop in there. We have our Discord, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff linked in the description below. Join our Discord, follow all those stuff, and just, uh, yeah, let's talk tech and drop a comment down below if you've ever been any through anything like this. Has this been a problem for you? Is a power supply swap out like this something that you find easy? Let's talk about it. Drop a comment down below and hit that subscribe button. My name is Chris, I've been your computer technician, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Click one of these other videos though. Check it out. Click one. Click one. We have a lot more stuff to check out, so you want to check out one of our videos right over here. Alright, click one. Or both. Both is good. Yeah. Bye.